and welcome back to Carlisle times two. This is Carlisle, and hey, we have a new hero out there, Mr. Corvus, the Spirit Walker. So what we're going to do is we are going to test that out today. Uh, we just got him, so we're going to test it out on <clears throat> a chimps mode to see just how good he is. Now, I will tell you, he's expensive, okay? So what we're going to do is get this out here. Now, you know I'm used to using Sauda, so I'm going to have to try to come up with something that I think can probably hold off everybody. I'm going to take everybody out. Let's see, I can... You can probably do one level with this at normal speed. I'm going to have it off of auto, so we're going to start with our ninja. The good news is placing him right there, we are going to be able to, you know, get the advantage of those balloons passing him a couple times in case he doesn't pop one, like right there. So they're going to still have a chance to kind of come back around. Now I'm going to stick a tack right here. All right, now... Again, as you see, Corvus is expensive. Let's see what we're going to do. We're going to bring... Let's see if I can bring my tax shooter to a 2-2-0. I don't know if it's going to happen. Let me see. Again, this is going to be an interesting strategy. I want to see what I can do to hold off the balloons until I can get Corvus down. So I don't know how strong that's going to be. Let's see. Keep going. Let's see how far we can go. Worst case scenario, I can always throw down a dart monkey. Getting to a thousand is going to be kind of scary. Almost feel like I'm going to need to put down a uh, an alchemist at some point too before even getting there. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to do that just to make myself feel a little better. All right, so I'm going to drop an alchemist now right beside the ninja and let's go for it. Okay, so now I'm going to hope that we can get to the thousand mark without having to do anything else. So we can hopefully get Corvus on the map as early as possible to get him amped up. All right, there we go. So we're at 400. Got a little ways to go. So far, holding up okay. All right, here we go. Might take... One more level and slow this down just a little uh, because some of those balloons are coming through pretty quick. Let's see how far we're going to be. This is level 14, round 14, and let's see, make sure we get these guys. Boom, boom. Okay, good. So it looks like in this round, we're going to be able to put it down. And gosh, I don't even know where to set it. I haven't really had a chance to try this. So here we go, we're getting close, 949, 956. All right, we're gonna put Corpus down just a moment. Oh gosh, I hope everything can get through. I mean, I hope it, come on, come on. Oh, there we go. So I'll drop it right there. All right, now see what happens. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna speed it up now. Holy tomatoes, that was crazy. So now I'm gonna start amping. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna do my Alchemist first. I'm gonna go for a three, two, zero. See if I can get there. I think that's gonna be the route I'm going to take today. That was an expensive and excruciating 1,000 to get that on the board. Okay. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to want to take it all the way up to 3 yet. I might want to do a 2-2 two -two and then I'm going to go back. Yeah, do a 2-2 two -two and then I'm going to go back to my ninja. Start amping up my ninja. I think we need that little extra because this would be a three zero one. And let's see where we can take it before we need to do something else. Okay, so right now we're at a one zero one. Now we're at a two zero one. Let's see if we can get it to a three. If we get it to a three without any issues, I think we're going to be okay to put it on auto. Okay, almost there. There we go. Okay, so let's look in the meantime. Let's look at these upgrades. Let's go to Corvus. So right now, oh, where's Corvus? Here we go. So Corvus 
has some interesting situations here. We have at level three, he has the first ability, Soul Harvest ability. Harvest nearby balloons in an instant, learns Echo and Haste. Then at level, at level seven, Spirit Walk ability, Corvus can shift to a valid location, learns Ancestral Might and Malevolence. These are spells, interestingly. Uh, at level 10, Dark Ritual Ability, harvests a huge number of balloons near Corvus. Trample does more damage to more balloons, learns Recovery. And at level 20, the Spirit-based damage increases and does extra damage to Moab's. Ancestral Might does more damage. Overload does more damage. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Uh, we can test these out in just a moment. We're going to go ahead and... Put this on to auto. Because again, what we want to do is at a minimum, I want to get the alchemist to a four zero, I mean four two zero, and my ninja to a four zero one. Okay, so here we go. Next thing we're gonna do is take our ninja up. And we'll test this ability on 40. Again, I don't know. I haven't seen it in action, so I don't know. I don't want to do anything with it until 40. So like I said, in the meantime, we'll get the ninja to 401. Be another round, usually around 35. Of course, it was so expensive with Corvus, it might take a little longer. We're almost there, though. 35, and there we go. Now, finally, we're going to take up the alchemist to a 420. This will probably be around the end of level 38, and then I'll take it off of auto as well, around the beginning of 39. A little ways to go. Thirty-eight. Let me go ahead and take it off auto right now. Okay, now we have our alchemist. Uh, let's go ahead and get to the two two zero here. All right, and now we'll go ahead and run this. Probably drop down a spike factory. Let's put a spike factory right here. Let's follow two on the bottom. Put it on smart. All right, so here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and soon as it comes through, I'm going the round starts. I'm going to go ahead and set off the ability and see what it does. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. So now let's continue. I'm going to go ahead and put it back on auto. Let's go ahead and amp our spike factory up to a 302. And then we're going to pop over to the tax shooter and take it up as well. It would take just a second. It's going to come up pretty quick. There we go. Now we'll take our attack shooter up to three, and then we'll go to a four two zero. We're almost there. And let's play around with some of these different abilities again. I want to see how they work with different types of items on the field. There we go. Okay. I eventually take this all the way up, but let's go ahead and put a village down first. Uh, let's put the village right here. First one. And we're going to do a zero, one, two. I'm going to put a second monkey village down right around there. We're going to do a 102. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drop down a heli pilot right about here. So it enjoys the benefit. We'll do a 20. One, two, three, two, zero, three. Okay. And as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and take this up to a 204. Get that Comanche defense. All 
I mean, Corvus seems to be doing some crazy things. You know, seeing that uh, spell popping up there. Okay, while we're waiting for this, let's look at some of these things. We have the spells. So as it shows, the spell book is full. Oh, well, what is that supposed to do? Oh, we can cast things. Oh, interesting. The spell book. I do not know what to use, so I'm going to hold off on that until I learn a little more. Those look to come with some costs there. Let's go ahead and take up to the Comanche defense. There we go. Next thing I want to do is bring our first monkey village to a 022. And then, of course, bring our second monkey village to a 202 for right now. Now, what we're going to do is let's, um, while we're waiting for our heli pilot to be able to take it up to a Comanche commander, a 205, let's see what happens when some blues come through. We'll just test out some different abilities. And again, with the abilities here, you've got uh, the first one was Soul Harvest, the second one, Spirit Walk. Looks like once we get to 10, which we're closing out, we get Dark Ritual. Let's see. This one, the spirit gains a slow-firing energy spear. Spirit grows in size and attacks faster. The spirit merges with the spell book and releases intense bloom-popping mist around Corvus. Oh my goodness, there's so many things. All right, we're going to have to learn about all these. But let's see what happens. Like I said, if anything starts to come through when we get up, um, let's try Let's try the first one. Boom. Oh my goodness, it just wiped out everything that was on there. Now let's try the second with just the normal balloons coming through. There we go. Oh my goodness, that just annihilated that too. I think, I think it's, oh, this is where we can move him. So when we have that one, now I just moved him over there. I don't know if that's what I wanted to do. Okay, so that was pretty cool, actually. So, let's see. Let's move him. Um, I guess we'll leave him right there, right now. That was kind of interesting. Let's move him again. I'll put him right here, just for the moment. Right at the beginning. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, let's use that first. Oh, my goodness. That just is pretty crazy. So, again, just playing around with these right now. As we wait for our heli pilot to, you know, get to a 205, we need about um, another 15,000, give or take. Maybe 16,000. Oh, we, now we have a third ability coming in. We'll test it in just a moment. Okay, we'll test it with just, oh, if anything can get past, <laughs> let's... Nothing's getting through. Oh my goodness, this is insane. I don't even know what to say. I, I, I am hoping something will get through so we can test it. This is pretty good. I'm actually enjoying it. I think I'll leave Corvus there right now, too. Wow. Um, I, I, I don't know if I'm going to have a chance to use it. Uh, okay, here we go. This is insane. And again, I'm not even using any... Uh, here we go. Let's use, use that. One. Holy cow. Whoa. Okay, so that ability just annihilated everything on the screen. Holy tomatoes. This is crazy, insane, powerful. Again, highly expensive to get it, you know, on the map. And, you, you know, you have to obviously, you know, pick well to make sure you have enough that can, you know, protect your your map until you get it down. Uh, some maps it might be complicated to do it, or you may have to really bring it out at a much later time. But let's see, right now, where is he on level two? We are on level 10. Okay, so we're doing pretty good. We're about halfway through. I don't know if he's gonna get to level 20, but we're coming up on our Gila pilot, and uh, we're, around 75 so this is going to be really fun to use him and this is not even using the spells okay there we go and almost there are we going to have enough 
Almost. There we go. Okay. Now we're getting into the real stuff here. So normally I would start looking to place down a wizard. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to put the wizard right here though. Still in the range of those two so I can use the benefits. We'll go ahead and do a 0, 2, and try to get it to a 4 really quick. 0, 2, 4. I don't even know if we're going to need much beyond this. Normally I like to throw other things down later. This might be all the towers we need looking at some of these different abilities and just how they're knocking things down. Although I don't know how it will work in the 90 to 100 range. I'm really kind of curious. Okay, so right now we just took our wizard up to a 0 to 4. Let's go ahead and, and bump up our first monkey village to a 0 3 2. Let's make sure we get camo on everybody in that area. There we go. Okay, I feel better now. Uh, let's go ahead and get our spike factory up to a 402. I know it's a little crazy that I'm coming in. I'm going to bring up my wizard to Prince of Darkness later than my spike factory, but I think it's a better thing at this point. Testing this out. There we go. All right. Now all of my focus is going to be on my wizard. Bring it to a Prince of Darkness. And we need to get it up to about 28,000. So we've got about uh, 25,000 to go. And this is where we're going to really test and see how good Corvus is. I mean, right now it's just crucifying everything, especially right up there in the front. Wow. Wow. But I think roughly by about 90 or 91, we should hopefully be able to get our wizard where we need it. And then I think I'm just going to hold off and see how well Corvus performs, uh, you know, in the 90 to 100 range without throwing extra towers down. I mean, right now between everybody on the map and my Comanche commander, they seem to be holding everything at bay. The first real test is going to be at level 90. I want to see what it can do when we have the big baddies come out. Okay. We're getting close. I'm going to be about one or two rounds behind where I'd like to be on getting... Well, maybe not. It looks like I might get my... I'm going to take it off auto for just a moment. I might get my wizard here before 90. Am I going to get it? I don't think so. Oh, I'm just going to be short, but that's okay. So here we go. Level 90. Let's see what we can do. It's going to come out and... Okay, so we're good there. And again, this is where we really learn how good it is. Now we're going to go Prince of Darkness, so we're going to have a 0 to 4. Come on, come on. There we go. All right. Now let's just ride it out. We can go ahead and put this down. If anything starts to look really kind of suspicious and like it's going to get through, I'm going to drop Corvus down for some, um, some abilities. There we go. Okay, we're on round 93. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's a good thing. Of course, Comanche Commander is a killer right here. But everything seems to be getting annihilated. I don't want to use it unless I think I need to. I'm going to leave Corvus right there too. I don't think right now, maybe at level 100 it might be something I do, but not right now. Okay, there we go. Just everything is getting destroyed. Okay, round 95. So I think we're going to see a little more action now. Okay, this is where it's going to get really good. I'm going to slow it down a little. 
I want to get a lot of these on the screen. Well, hopefully they don't get it really around. And then I'm going to unleash... Let's just go ahead and do it now. First one. Oh my goodness. Just destroyed everything. Let's go ahead and throw a second ability. Okay, pretty much finished everything else. Okay. All right. So, 96. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save the rest of those until level 100. There we go. Let's try this. Okay, just did the ability. Let's see. I just tried that. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Okay. So everything seems... Let's see if it's the popping power. Boom. Okay, and the second one. Let's see. I know I shouldn't be doing this at 97. Well, you know, it didn't do too much. But um, here we go. I'm going to slow this down just to make sure nobody sneaks through. Okay. If I need to move it, I want to be prepared to be able to move it. So far, so good. It's looking okay. Because I don't want to use those abilities unless I absolutely have to. And so far, it looks like everything is being taken care of. I mean, it's a little tight right now. I'm not excited about that, but seems to be holding everything off. The Prince of Darkness and the Comanche Commander you know, we'll make sure they have the cleanup. We're at 99 now. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here it is. This is a pretty quick round. And based on what it's done so far, I think we should be okay. We're getting through a little, but that's okay. And now, here we go. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and launch two of the attacks. Let's see what happens. I'm not going to move Corvus yet. If this starts to get around a little too close for comfort, then I will move Corvus. But right now, we're okay. All right. You know, worst case scenario, we still have a lot of cash there that we can use. Let's, okay, let's fire off another. It's like right inside the, uh, the range. Okay. Yeah, actually, I'm going to move Corvus now just for fun. I'm going to put him right there in the middle, just so he's right there. I'm getting a little nervous. There we go. I think we're going to be good. So let's fire off one more ability. And let's see. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we're going to move Corvus one more time right over here. Just in case, because it looks like they're trying to sneak by. And there we go. A little close for comfort, but hey, there we go. So now we've used Corvus, not even using the spells. Again, a little expensive to get to. I'm still a little more of a fan of Sauda, at least in these levels. But we'll test out more of the intermediate, uh, advanced, and expert levels. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you think about Corpus if you've had a chance to use it. And until next time, be safe, be good, peace out.